shots that I take About the ankles I break About the hits that I make About the, it's just more to the game It's more to the game It's just more to the game It's just more to the game This is life is Lottie Yes, sir. I'm back. I'm gonna give y'all a little update on like what happened, man. Uh, I had to come home like a whole month early from Kazakhstan because of um, the coronavirus and all that. When I was in Armenia, I remember we made that last video, and uh, I said there was no coronavirus there. And literally two weeks after, we got our first like five or six cases. Like two weeks before we had our playoffs in the Kazakh League, the coronavirus hit. So. That definitely slowed down everything. It was like a blessing in disguise, I guess you could say, because we got to come back and see our families and be with our families and um, our loved ones for an extra month than normally planned. But I'd say like the loss was um, not getting to play in that, those playoffs and not getting to get to that championship game, you know, and competing. Okay, now we gotta talk about the story, man. Uh, it's actually crazy how it happened. So uh, it was like a three day process just to get out of there. Me and CJ, one of my teammates, we uh, were on CNN basically every day. And then uh, we kept taking like little notes on it. So word had got to us that like we had 17 cases in uh, Kazakhstan with the coronavirus. So we look at each other like, shit, it might be time to go. It was one morning we went down to our GM's office and we um, had a meeting with him. And we told him, we were uh, like, oh yeah, um, we would like to go home because we don't know what's gonna happen with this coronavirus and we don't wanna be stuck out here. So he went back and did some, some uh, research himself and actually came back and told us like, um, well, well, it's not anything too serious, thank you guys. We'll be fine, we're just gonna keep it here. For another month until I can get a contract. Bruh. <laughs> like, no, bro, we're trying to get out of here. We was just like, all right, cool, whatever. So we we came back the next day, and this is actually when uh, there was a, what was it? It was on Sideline Sources. It was, on, it was actually on Instagram, and I had found it. I sent it to CJ. He was like, oh, yeah, we got it. We got to use this one. You could risk being, um, locked out the country then at that you would be wherever you were whatever country you were in you would be over there indefinitely so me and cj we told him like we look we we're not trying to be here man like <laughs> trying to go home we got to see the family uh, we don't want to be away from our families indefinitely because that's just crazy because at the time we weren't playing any games uh we were just practicing we were running every day hell no to the no 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 running every day. So we was trying to get out of there and um, we, we showed our GM, he was cool about it. Um, the process actually wasn't wasn't too difficult. He actually joked and laughed with us a little bit. And uh, he, he, he agreed that we should, we should go ahead and get out of there and get back um, to our families. <laughs> My brain just went dead. He handled it, he handled it correctly. So, I mean, he got us up out of there within like the next two or three days. We took, uh, what did we do? We took three flights. We took one to Moscow, which was a, like a, a 11, 11 hour layover. So we went from Moscow, we went to New York, which is the hub of where it was in the States. So we was like, man, <laughs> they're trying to kill us. We, we stayed in this hotel overnight. It was a real nice hotel too. So I went home. My mom's picked me up, and then CJ took a uh, he took a flight home to Omaha. So I mean, we all we got over here safely. They were lying to y'all about that screening to get in because we came through that New York airport. No swab, no mouth swab, no no temperature check on the forehead, like nothing. We just went right through. We went through customs. The lady pulled us out of the line. She asked where we were coming, we showed her our paperwork, and we just went right through, like there was no test. So if y'all are in New York and if you're traveling, please be safe. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all of that.
MTTG family, baby. See, I got that on the first try.